Hello, welcome to Enox Engineering, I'm Alan. Today we'll finish off making revolving centre, this is part two. We've made the horse taper, I've knurled the outside, we've bored out the bore for the bearings, and today I'll show you how I overcame a problem with the bearing bore, and we'll finish off the centre and assembly. So let's go into the workshop, see how we do it. I'm using a half inch end mill to make a counterbore on the face of the bearing bores and the counterbore is going to be 2.5 millimetres deep. I've got a major problem with the bearing bore. Now the material's cooled down, the bearing just slops about. You can see that's far too loose. Although I've got it's tighter at the back, but that's far too loose to have the revolving center. So I've got two options. I can start again. There's a lot of work gone into making the Morse taper. Or I can try another option. Make this hole bigger and put a sleeve in, which I'll try. At least for those that do make the same mistake, we've got a way of saving it. I've got the lip at this end, the depth of the bore is okay, the recess in the bottom of the bore is okay, it's just the bearing diameter. Because I've got a recess here, I'll bore this out without touching the back of the bore to the outside of this recess. Then I'll make a sleeve to press in, then re-bore the bearing bore again and put the recess back in. That finish size will be 25, so it's just uh, under a mil over 25, so I'll leave that. Now I'll concentrate on the bore. So the outside diameter, 25.19, and the part where it just starts to go in, 25.09, so that's 0.1 bigger, so that's fourth out interference, and I'll leave it at that. The next job is to part it off the bar, and then press it into the bore. So I'll use this colour on the bottom, just so it pushes on this face, rather than a machined edge. Insert just in to, to guide it. I'll swap to my boring bar and start to bore it out. So when the boring bar touches the back face, it's on zero, and now I'm ready to start reboring the bore. I've just finished machining the recess on the end, so now I'm back to where I was at the start, ready to do the next part. Here's a quick tip, when you're fitting the bearings into the bore, if you take some threaded rod and put a nut each side, you can then 
move the bearings in and out and adjust the bore size until you get the correct bearing fit and to remove the bearings so this hole now is the right size I've put a nail on the outside and take the sharp corner off and the body's finished for the centers I've got a piece of half inch mild steel which will make it's a hundred millimeters long so it should make two and the way I'm going to do that this is a number three Morse taper in the headstock this is a number three Morse taper on this adapter and in this end it's an ER20 collet holder the way I fit this in the end of the Morse taper adapter I screw in this rod that limits you you can't feed a rod straight through now because you've taken up the center of your headstock that's a ER20 collet with a half inch bore which goes in there and the rod will just slide in about 40 mil sticking out and this fits into the headstock I've already cleaned the taper this is the rod coming through the headstock onto that I fit a bush this bush this size here just fits into the bore this gives the nut something to tighten up on and the nut goes on the outside tighten this up. I've made it so that the length that this sticks out I can still close the door. I have to on this machine because it's got an interlock on there. If this back door is open the machine won't start. Thirty three point five. That's okay. So now I need to turn down Three fifteen we need to be so that's too so big, but it is hot, and the finish the finish is okay. What's the length? Just under twenty, so that's okay. And what I'll do is to put the lead on. Up. I think that's just starting to go on the lead that I did. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to tap the hole. This end's finished then. My tap guide, five millimeter tap and a tap wrench, and I'm using the nut on the draw bar to turn the head stuck around. I 
you can see as I turn the tap in, this end is spring loaded and it's in the centre of the tap so it, it comes out. All I have to do to increase the tension is wind the tailstock in. I've just pulled it out in the collet a little bit so I can part it off to 20mm from the face that I've just machined to the edge. Change the collet for an 8mm, which should just go onto that part, go right up to the face. And what we want to do on this is machine the, the point on it. Let's see. Compound slide set at 30 degrees. Now I'll move it down to 15 to form some clearance. So there's the first centre. I'm just making the washer. What I've done is turn the outside down to 11. It's the same type of rod that I was using for the centre. Faced it off, drilled a 5mm hole through and now I'm just getting the width. I've touched the side of the, the end of the bar. I know this tip 3mm so I need to go in 3mm plus the two I want for the width of the washer. So that will give me a washer two millimetres wide. Before I part this off fully, what I want to do is just put a chamfer on the edge. I'll just rub the back with some emery to clear the sharp edge off. Press the bearing on. First of all, put the washer on with an 8mm hole, 25mm diameter, then your bearing. And I'm using a piece of steel with a centre drill hole in the end to protect the point. And this is just a steel bush that's bigger than the... The bore is bigger than the shaft, so I know the shaft will go through. And it's locating on the outside of the bearing. So I can tighten that in. And the shaft's come through. So I can now put the second bearing on. Put that back on the shaft. Press it in. Let's come through the end. Put the centre point in. So you have the three bearings on, it's okay. 
So you've got your washer, three bearings. So I've just taken the diameter down and put the chamfer on the edge. So once you've assembled your three bearings, then you take your washer that we made earlier onto your cap head that was machined down. So this cap head will fit in the bore. And that just screws on the back of the bearings. And then the three bearings are pressed into the housing so that this washer will fit into that undercut in the end. Now if you remember I did give this bore a slight lead in for the first bearing. So that goes on there. Collar on the back to protect the back. Open the vise up. On this end we can put this one that way. So now the three bearings are in. At the start of the video of making this part, the problem was I couldn't get my tool between the revolving centre and the job. And that's given me constant problems. Here's the one I've made. The tool will go between. So I can get virtually down to the centre where before with this one I couldn't get in there. I've made two more centres. One centre that's a little larger than the first one and the second centre which is made with a steel ball. Well that's it for today. I hope that was interesting and hope to see you next time on Enots Engineering.